Hi friends, it's Lindsay here. So happy you're joining me today. Um, I have some fun stuff for us to do. Um, before we get started though, let's get our bodies ready. Can we stick out those legs and give them a wiggle? Let's do a really, really fast wiggle fix. Good. Let me stretch out those toes. Beautiful. Let's get some crisscross legs going here and those wiggles in our hands and our arms. Can we wiggle them out? Let's wiggle over here and over here and up and down. Awesome. So you do a nice big huge stretch out wide and a super tall stretch. Good. Can we blink our eyeballs open, right? Make sure they're ready to look. Ready? Blink, blink. Good. Can we wiggle our ears? Make sure they're ready to listen. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Beautiful. So we take three deep breaths, one hand on our belly, one hand over our mouth, deep breath in. Good, let's do two more, ready? Awesome, last one, really big. Good, can you make a point front and put them in your lap and catch your words? Good, okay, let's look at what we're doing today. So first off, I'm gonna teach you one of my very favorite fish songs um, that I love singing with the kiddos. I hope you um, can sing along with me. It'll be lots of fun. Then we're gonna, you're going to listen to a story called The Pout Pout Fish about a very, very sad fish who learns how to be a little bit happier. And then you come back here and we're going to get to draw our own fish, which should be lots of fun. So let's get started with our song. And our song has some lots of different animals in it and I want to show you. The first um, animal in our song is just a regular old fish, a slippery fish. You may fish, and to make a fish um, motion, I want you to put your hands together and can you wiggle them like a fish? Or a slippery fish. Good. The next animal is a tuna fish. And tuna fish, um, this is my little fish that I'm pretending is a tuna fish. For the tuna fish, I want you to make your hands like nice and big and make your fingers really long and stretch them out and then um, wiggle them in and out like this for tuna fish. Good. Then we're going to talk about this animal right here. Do you know what this guy is? He's got lots of legs. He's an octopus, right? And for the octopus, I want you to use your imagination to pretend you've got lots of squiggly arms and maybe squiggle them like this. Good. Octopus. The next animal is our shark. We all know and love sharks, right? And see how sharks have a fin right on top of their bodies? So what we're gonna do to pretend to be sharks is we're gonna put our hands together like this and put them on our heads, pretend we're a shark too. Shark. Good. And the last animal is a whale. This is my orca whale here that I have, but, um, and for the whale, whales are huge, really big animals, right? And I, they have little blowholes on their um, heads that's like, you know how when you take a deep breath in and that air comes out your mouth and your nose, this is so, um, whale's little mouth, nose, that's where their air comes out, just like our nose and mouth. Um, so we're going to pretend that we are whales and that we have air and water spouting out of the blowhole. So we're going to spout just like this. Awesome. You ready to sing with me? Okay, make your slippery fish. Ready? The slippery fish. Slippery fish swimming in the water. A slippery fish, a slippery fish. A glub, a glub, a glub. Oh no, he's been eaten by the. Get your tuna fish ready. Tuna fish, the tuna fish flashing in the water. The tuna fish, the tuna fish. A glub, a glub, a glub. Oh no. He's been eaten by a, get the squiggly arms ready, octopus, an octopus, squiggling in the water. The octopus, the octopus, a glum, a glum, a glum. Oh no, he's been eaten by the, get your fin ready, great white shark, great white shark, lurking in the water. The great white shark, the great white shark, a glum, a glum, a glum. <gasps> oh no, he's been eaten by the, he makes pretend you're a big huge whale, humongous whale, humongous whale, spouting in the water. Humongous whale, humongous whale, a glum, 
a glob a glob that's the end of our song because nothing's bigger than the whale nobody's eating the whale uh, I love singing that song in the classroom. It was super fun, and um, I hope you get a chance to sing it that sing the song at home with your family, and we'll sing it again tomorrow. So maybe you can um, have the song a little better, and we can sing together, which would be lots of fun. Um, now that we finished our song, you could go and listen to the story about the pout pout fish. It's a very silly story about um, a very sad face. Sad fish. He has a very frowny face. He's back. He's pouting. He's sad. Um, and then he has to learn how to be a little bit happier. So I'd like you to go listen to that story and then come back here and we will draw some fish together.